What's up, everybody? This is Silent Slayer. Welcome back to another V Battle League video. So, in today's video, like another super strong team combination for Open Great League. So, today we're gonna fight with the Evolved Rain. We have Shadow Nido Queen, we have Maddie Champ. And guys, I see like most people don't use War in Nido Queen now because they like increase their charge, move energy, but they are still insane and like really good Pokemon if you use them correctly. So the moveset of Pokemon, guys, Wall and we got like standard moveset, Powder Snow, Ice Lick, Spear, Earthquake, and Shadow Nido Queen. We have Poison Jab, Poison Fang, Earth Power, and Medicham. We have Counter, Ice Punch, and Psychic. So in this team, I use Wall and as a lead, saves off for Shadow Nido Queen and coverage for we have Medicham. So here we go, let's go for the first match. And guys, if you're new on my channel, so please subscribe. And if you did subscribe, so watch my video till the end to find some epic battle it's one versus double is like a pretty bad start i'm gonna bring out a medicham here yeah, and the opponent just like another counter not counter as you can see fat even like super effective against medicham it's like galarian wheezing and he just used shield and i think he go for the sludge i don't know what second move he got and unfortunately go for the brutal i didn't know he got like brutal swing it's usually another sagging and i think brutal uh, medicham can survive his brutal swing and i don't know he got like oh hit again and he got my medicham is like pretty bad for us so i'm gonna bring out nido queen here Farm it on his health with the poison jab and he used the overheat so he got attack harshly fell so again not gonna use the shield but unfortunately I didn't know overheat like do this amount of damage after first attack harshly fell so this time I'm gonna have to use my shield and yep he just bring his belly so let's use the poison fang make his defense well and then bring out Waldrin which can be like pretty bad situation here let's deliver the ice lick spear I hope he doesn't use his shield yep he just got the belly puff. And definitely bring his double and I think I didn't know what double and charge move got so let's see and it's in wild charge guys like one shot for wall rain and Nido Queen is like already danger but we got like two poison fang ready so gonna deliver back to back he just used chill and I know he's gonna catch my move on his skeleton VG so we have to over farm a little bit yep that's what I thought let's use the poison fang and I think this one is in knockout for him because we got two poison fang ready and we're gonna deliver back to back and yep, we just got the double. I, I shouldn't go for the earth power, but still GG for us. Moving on to next battle, guys. Walden versus Medicham. Again, bad start. Let's immediately switch to our Nido Queen, Shadow Nido Queen. And opponent just bring his Lickitung. Another meta of Great League. Let's use the Poison Fang. Make his defense fell. And I think you go for the directly power. Yep, it's in power. Rip. Again, let's over farm him. Trying to bait down his shield. Let's use the poison fang again and opponent just use shield. That's what I want. And we have to leave one more poison fang. If he doesn't use shield, Ligitang will be gone. And we got the Ligitang. We have both the shield left. So we got the advantage here. Let's surely bring his Medicham. So I'm gonna definitely bring my Medicham here because we got the advantage. Not gonna shield this. Let's see what he got. It's an ice punch. As you can see guys my game just got like I can't give like psychic attack and opponent got another charge move ready so I'm gonna use my shield here. If I doesn't use shield my medicham will be gone if you because, because you go for the psychic. And opponent just I think like something weaker to medicham that's why he uses shield so let's use the psychic he doesn't have a shield left and then bring out our wall in. But unfortunately he just got the charge move ready so after this charge move, I'm gonna immediately switch to wall in and let's farm it on his health with the Ice Lake Spell, let's see what he got. And he got Best on at the back, so it's like GG for us, guys. We have to deliver two Earthquake back to back before this charge will be. But we have like one shield left, so again, it's good for us. We can easily take down Best Shield on. And yep, yeah, we got the Earthquake and <clears throat> another with bad lead, but we still win. GG. This team is like, guys, we like definitely guarantee give you a win in a great league if we use him. It's Walrin versus Frostlass. It's an average start because both are like ice type Pokemon. So let's use you directly Earthquake. And I think it's in Shadow World. Walrin can easily survive Shadow World. So not gonna shield this here. It's tanky Pokemon. Let's see. And yeah, opponent is gonna use his shield. And we almost got the Frostlass. And he just switched to his Water Gun Langton. So I'm gonna bring out Medicham. Can't switch to Nido Queen because of Water type. Water Guns like do some damage. And we have got the Shadow one. Let's use the psychic, do some little amount of damage. And opponent just use the shield. And I think like something again weaker against counter attack. That's why I use the shield. I'm gonna shield this here and again let's go for the psychic. If we use the shield, I think like something definitely weaker against Medicham. Yep, that's what I thought. And he just it doesn't have any shield left, and we got the ice punch, and I think it's like one shot for Langton, but he just survived on low HP, so I'm gonna bring out wall in here trying to farm it down has with the auto sooner and ice league it's indefinitely avalanche so we just survive let's use the ice league spear 
Let's see what he bring. We have one shield advantage, and he got the dragon shield. So I'm gonna immediately spring out my Nido Queen here. I'm not gonna shield this. Nido Queen can survive his attack. It's app cannon. Let's use the earth power. Opponent doesn't have any shield left. I know he's gonna switch to his lantern. He have to bait down my shield, but I'm not gonna shield this again. And that's what I'm not gonna shield. That's why because he bring lantern and use this up and knock out my needle coin. Let's use the poison fang, knock out the lantern, and we need like one more poison fang to knock out the dragon. And opponent just surrender because you know can't win GG for us. Moving on to next battle, Walden versus Stravnant. Again, it's an average start. Let's use the ice thing. Definitely, it's in seed bomb. Walden can survive one seed bomb. Not gonna shield this. Let's use the ice spear, and I think 100% is gonna use this shield. Yep, that's what I thought. He just brings Tallow Flame. Let's immediately bring out my Nido Queen here, but fortunately, he just got the Flame Charge. So, gonna shield this here. Let's over farm him. Let's use the Poison Fang, make his defense fell. Yep, he just gonna farm it down his health with the Poison Fang. I'm gonna again wanna use my both the shield on Nido Queen. Let's see what he bring. I think he's bring his Stravenant or something else. Yep, it's a drive land. Well, let's use the poison fang, make his defense fell. Let's switch to Wallant to catch his move. And yep, we just did the catch of the match. Let's bring out Nido Queen now. And anyway, best shield at the back. Let's use the poison panic. And I think he's gonna use his shield. And opponent doesn't use it. I should go for the earth power here, guys. Direct led a big mistake here. But we got like Madicham here and he got defense fell. So we're gonna farm it down his whole health with the counter. And we have like two energy of ice punch. I'm gonna deliver back to back on Travenant. If I go for the like directly earth power, the shadow will be gone. Let's use the ice punch. Definitely gonna use his shield. We've got another one. And opponent just surrender because you know can't win. GG for us. Moving on to next one. Baldrin versus Nido Queen. It's a good start. He just bring his up out, so let's bring out our Maddie Champ. I don't have power up punch, so he got the like little bit advantage because if I got like power up punch, we got like attack buff, and we can easily take out Umbreon. But we still can fight him with the ice punch and counter. So why well, let's use this ice punch, and I think is this one is the knockout for Umbreon. And opponent just use his shield. I'm gonna shield this here again, and trying to farm his health with the counter. And let's see what he bring. He just bring his Nido Queen, so let's go for the directly Psychic. Unfortunately, opponent uses shield. Let's bring out our Walden. And he just switched to his Crafty, so let's bring out my Shadow Nido Queen. We have one shield advantage here, so have to use him wisely. Let's use the Poison Fang, make his defense fell. Definitely one more. He got another charge move ready, so I'm gonna shield this here. Trying to farm it down, health with the. Poison jab and use the earth power on Nido Queen. Yeah, we got the earth power. He's trying to farm it down my Nido Queen, but we got the earth power and it's like one shot for his Nido Queen. GG for us. Moving on to next battle. It's Walren versus Blastoise. It's an average start. And just use the hydro cannon. I'm not gonna shield this because Warden is like also auto type. And he just uses shield and he just share him with the razor leaf. So let's immediately bring out our Nido Queen and trying to farm it down health with the poison gem. And let's use the poison fang. But we got almost second poison, but we got us the water again. So let's bring out Madisham now. We have to deliver one psychic. And we almost got him. So, gonna use the shield here. Trying to farm it out in health with the counter. What do you got? He got the Tallow Flame. Let's use the psychic and immediately switch to our wall in and use the Ice Lake Spear to knock out the Tallow Flame. So, it's again GG for us, guys. Easy win, easy battle. Moving on to next one. Let's see what opponent got. Walden versus Umbreon. Again, average start. I'm gonna directly 
not gonna directly go for the R3. Let's use the Ice Liquid because he could also do some little amount of damage. And let's see what he got. Foul play or last resort. Let's use the Earthquake this time. The Earthquake do more damage than Ice Lick Spear. It's like a big move, and we all he almost got us with the foul play. Let's use the Earthquake, and he almost got the Umbreon, but he just got another charge. So we're gonna let it go, Wall in here, and then bring out our and bring out our Nidoqueen, farm it down health with the Poison Jab, and let's see what third Pokemon he got, and he got. Reggae Shield, let's directly go for the Earth. I'm not gonna bait down his shield. Let's use the Earth Power. And yeah, if he doesn't use shield, let's immediately bring out Medicham. And opponent him like Azumarill at the back. So again, we just have to farm it down health with the Earth. I'm gonna bait down his shield because we got Nidoqueen with the full health. I'm gonna shield this here. As you can see, you go for the Hydro Bomb directly. Let's use the Ice Punch. You're definitely gonna shield this here because you have to save Azumarill's health. Because Registeel is like almost gone. And yeah, opponent doesn't use his shield. I thought he's gonna use his shield and we almost farm it down his health. So we're gonna shield this here. Azumarill is almost gone. So we just need to like one deliver one poison fang. And Medicham can easily farm it down like shield with the counter. Let's use the poison fang. We got two poison fang ready. I think he's gonna use his shield. Yeah, he just used his shield. And he got defense. I don't know why he's still playing. Let's break out by the knock out the Reggie Steel and bye bye to Azumarill. GG for us, moving on to next battle. It's Wallen versus Pidgeot, it's a good start. He immediately switched to Swampert. So let's bring out our Medicham here. Let's use the Ice Lick Spear. Sorry, let's use the Ice Punch, not Ice Lick Spear, because it's like both are like Ice type. Let's I'm gonna shield this here and farm his health with the counter because I know he's gonna bring his Pidgeot. So we have delivered two Ice Punch back to back. Let's see, he's gonna shield this and it doesn't shield this. Almost he got 40% of his health and we got another charge move of Ice Punch. Definitely gonna shield this here. So I'm gonna bring out, I'm gonna bring out my Nido Queen here. That's what I thought he go for the Brave Bird. And he just bring his Stunfish Galadian. Let's use the Poison Fang trying to bait down his shield. And then immediately switch to Walden. We have to deliver one Earth Power on Stunfish. Not a we don't have his shield left. We definitely go for the back to back Rock Slide. Yep, he just got the Earth Power. And I think this Earth Power can knock out this Stunfish. Because the Stunfish suffice, my Nido Queen will be gone. And need like two poison jab to knock out the Pidgeot. So again, GG for us guys. You can see easy win, easy battle. Moving on to next one. Let's see what opponent got. Walden versus Azumarill. Again, average start. Because we both like water dive, and I think you go for the player of here. Go for the earthquake and almost take it out like 45% of his health. And play enough do the same amount of damage. Let's use the again earthquake. And I think that this Warren can survive on low HP, so not gonna shield this. And yeah, he just survived. Let's use the earthquake and knock out the Azumarill. And I'm gonna just shield this here. So I'm gonna bring out Nido Queen here, trying to farm it down health with the poison jab. I'm gonna shield this here. And let's see. For third Pokemon, second Pokemon he got. And he got Altaria. Let's use the Poison Fang back to back. We almost got like it got defense well, so it do more damage. We have to farm it down his health with the. I'm gonna shield this here because I think he likes something weaker to Nido Queen. And we almost farm it down, guys. We both like. And let's see what third Pokemon he got. He got best shield on at the back, so GG for us, guys, because we can easily farm his health with the counter. And his attack likes. Uh, st the attack like Stone Age and Flamethrower doesn't do any much damage, so again, good win, good game. Moving on to the next one. Swall in versus Reggie Shield, it's a bad start because Reggie Shield got like Zap Cannon and Focus Blast, all like super effective against him. So, we're gonna shield this here. And we got like Attack Fell, let's use the Earthquake. And he doesn't use, I don't know why he doesn't use his shield. 
trying to catch his move on Nido Queen. And yep, we just did the catch. And we have like one shield less. He just switched to, I think he switched to his Valipo. Absolutely, one more poison pack, and yeah, we almost got the poison pack, but he just got the weather ball. So, not gonna shield this, gonna let it go. Pally here, and we have like ice licks ready because we have like loaded energy. We just farm down Reggie Shield and catch oh, his move on Nido Queen. Got the Pally ball, let's see what he bring. He just bring his Reggie Shield, I think. Yep, that's what I thought. Gonna shield this here again because you go with the focus plus Zap can, can take out like full health. And yeah, we again trying to catch his move, but he just switched to his Abu Master. Now, was like also weak against counter. So, not gonna shield, I'm gonna farm him down. His whole health here, not gonna give him like any charge move. And opponent just surrender because you know, can't win GG for us. Moving on to next one. Wall in with Swamp, but again, average start. Let's use the Ice Lick Spear. You have to leave one more Ice Lick Spear to knock him on. Let's see what he got. I think it's an Hydro Cannon. Let's see if he doesn't use the Swamp, but will be gone. And that's what I thought. And I think this one is the Earthquake, so we're gonna shield this here. And trying to farm it down in health with the Powder Snow. Not gonna shield because definitely this one is the Hydro Cannon. We got the Swamp, but let's see what he bring. He just bring his Stunkfish Galadin. Let's use the Ice Lick here, trying to bait down his shield. So that's why it doesn't go for the because I know he's gonna use his shield. So now bring out our Maddy Champ. Arm it down easily. Not gonna shield, I think it's in a rock sled. And he just bring his knock towel. Let's use the first ice punch and then switch to our shadow nido queen. We need to deliver like one poison fang is like enough. Got the shadow ball. Let's use the poison fang and knock out the knock towel. So we need have to deliver one poison fang to Stunfish Galerian also. So he like defense fell. So now Madicham can easily farm him. We got the poison fang. If you go for the earthquake, you can easily farm my farm with us with mud shot. Let's bring out our Maddie Champ. Trying to farm it down health with the counter. And you go for it definitely earthquake. So gonna shield this. That is a GG for us. Moving on to next battle. It's wall in of his tongue fish. Bad start. He's trying to deliver directly. Earthquake, but he got another charge move ready. Let's open him, let's use the ice slipper. I hope he uses shield. Yeah, he doesn't use his shield. Okay, let's go for the ice lick spear. And he doesn't use shield again. So you just I'm gonna let it go my wall in here and then bring out Medicham. Farm it down his health with the counter. Let's see what he bring. He just bring his Medicham. We got the like energy advantage. Let's use the psychic. And just switch to Zvina so so. Obviously, let's bring out my Shadow Nido Queen. Trying to farm it down health with the Poison Jab, Poison Fang. And opponent just use shield as well. Let's have to, we just have to farm it down his health with the Poison Jab and Poison. So now we can easily take down Maddie Champ. Let's see what he bring. Let's see if he doesn't use the shield or not. He doesn't use the shield. And he just bring his Maddie Champ. And I think he doesn't have like psychic one. And he almost got him. Let's use the ice punch. And he's the no I think he's gonna use his shield. Yep, he doesn't use shield and opponent just surrender because you know can't win. So that's all for today video guys. That's all for today battle. Thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, share on my video guys and please subscribe to my channel.